Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create screenshots in Browser Automation Studio using Browser Model. Let's go! So, for example, you just visit any websites, for example Google, and you just need create screenshots of any images or maybe some screen resolution full screen resolution for example white and uh, width and height so uh, for example if you need just uh, uh, make a screenshots of any other uh, images in this uh, google page for example you just need uh, click uh, on the right button in this area for example i'm just need to uh, create screenshots of goo image and then I'm just a click on right button like here and in pop up menu I'm fine I'm looking for uh, for example screenshot elements then I click on it and then I'm just uh, correct my selector and then I'm just uh, using a button OK and after this action I've got screenshot base 64 hash uh, this hash is provided by our image screenshot and how to transform this base64 to our local file on our PC. To save it uh, from base64 to our folder, we just need to create any empty folder, for example, use our local disks. So, uh, for this purposes, I just need uh, to create folder 3333 and then I'm just uh, copy pass. Then I've got the file system. Then I've got the write file. And then I'm copy pass file pass here. Then I'm just uh, need to provide slash and reverse slash and uh, provide, for example, any name, uh, for example, image. Then uh, dots and uh, I'm just uh, write our extension format for example png and then data in this data we just got a provided screenshot base 64 i was um, in previous uh, step and then we just need to click a special ticker a data is in base 64 format and then we just need to click on the button ok and what we see we see in our folder uh, save our image in PNG file and as you can see we just uh, saved our file to local PC so this is just a way how to create screenshots using browser automation studio pop-up menu and the second way how to uh, get the full screenshot resolution screenshot and save it to local PC so to make a full screen resolution, we just need to uh, get two parameters. First, width and second, height. So to get these parameters of our screen resolution, uh, native resolution of browser Google Chrome, we just need to go to browser model and then just uh, need to look for uh, uh, action block get resolution and cursor position. Just to click on this, and in these variables, browser width and browser height, we just uh, need current browser size. Just to click on the button OK, and in our height and width, we just uh, we just got a special integer numbers of our resolution, current resolution, of course. Then we just uh, need to find the special model action block, uh, like a render. This is action makes screenshot of selected screen parts and save it to PNG images and code it as base64 string. Then we just need to uh, set width and height from previous action uh, from browser width and browser height. For example, in width we just set browser width and in height we just provide browser height. And then in render result we just got a special base64 hash of our image for example like uh, like this waiting for rendering and as you can see render result is got and uh, last step we just need to save to our local pc 
For this purposes, we just need to use file system model and then write file, as you know, uh, and then we just need to use a reverse slash. Then we just need uh, image screen uh, and uh, put PNG extension. Uh, and then in data, we just need the render result or any other name of your variables. And then uh, we just uh, tick on data is in base64 format. And then we just uh, click on the button OK. And we check our image. For example, we got a full resolution screenshot and save it to our local PC simultaneously. This is a really simple way to save our screenshots inside Browser Automation Studio. You just need to transform your base 64 hash string to image with any extensions, for example, PNG or GPG, or uh, for example, GIF, or for example, BMP, or something like this. If you want to get more videos, um, just wait for your like, for your uh, views and for your comments, of course, below this video. So thank you for watching. My name is Pavel Douglas. I'm RPE Automation Developer and see you soon.